Welcome to your population ecology lab. So hopefully you've listened to the lecture. Um, you need to listen to the lecture because if you don't listen to the lecture, you're going to miss a lot about um, understanding how to draw survivorship curves. So, um, so we've, uh, in the lecture I talk about um, survivorship curves and survivorship curves, um, this is a tiny little detail, but survivorship curves are, are drawn on semi-log paper. And you're going to draw your um, curves you're going to do today on semi-log paper. And um, if you think you've never seen semi-log paper before, you're wrong. Um, you have actually seen it quite a bit. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to explain to you what that semi-log paper looks like and how it functions, uh, not just because of what we're doing today, but because you will never look at COVID-19 data the same ever again after you realize what semi-log paper does and how it works. Um, so, but the experiment we're going to do today, you actually get to do stuff. So, uh, and not just watch videos. So we normally do in the lab, when, we, when we're in the lab, we do a um, dice game simulation of survivorship. Um, and the, um, you're, you're gonna um, recreate the scenario. You're not gonna, um, you're not gonna use the data because um, I'm not providing you the data. Um, this, this is the note from Larry. Uh, he provided his people the data. I actually want you to do the work. So, and I am giving you the materials you need to do the work with. So, um, the way this works is uh, you've got, we normally do in the lab, is we've got 50 buckets of dice. And we're looking at how quickly these people are going to die from heart disease. And we're going to um, simulate that all, we're going to simulate it in such a way that everybody who um, is a one dies from heart disease. Um, and so we're going to remove those people that have a one. Uh, they go to the cemetery. And, um, and then we're going to roll the rest of them to see which ones of those are going to die of heart disease. And I'm going to show you the first couple of steps because the difficulty with with this um, with this experiment in my uh, in my um, experience is mostly the filling out of the chart. Um, but all right, so I'm got, I've got here. This is what the chart looks like, right? And then here we got the dice roller. So table one, those you've got two populations here. You've got population one, which is your heart disease only, and your population two, which is your cancer and heart disease. So we're going to start out with 50 dice. We're going to roll the dice, and then we're going to count the survivors. Well, it's easier to count the dead ones, right? So we're going to count the dead ones. So there's a one, two, three, four, five six, seven ones. So seven ones, which leaves us with 43. So 50 minus seven is 43. So we've got 43 survivors. And then we're going to roll again. Oops, I go back. We're going to have to change this because we're only going to have the survivors rolling, right? So 43, I'm going to roll 43 dice. And we're going to count how many are dead this time? One, two, three. That's it, three dead ones. So we've got 40 survivors. Back. 40. Roll the dice. Now, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Forty minus nine is thirty-one. All right? And so you're gonna just you're gonna roll thirty-one. Um, and you're gonna keep on going until there's nobody left. Um, and then to calculate the percentage, you literally just have to double this number. So it's going to be 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86%, 86
eighty percent, sixty two percent, etc., etc. Right? Um, now, then, the next experiment you're going to do, you're going to start back again with fifty, and for the population two, you're going to remove everything that's a one and a two. So roll 50 dice, and now we're going to remove everybody that's a one and a two. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 21 holy moses <laughs> so we we killed so here we've got 50 minus 21 has a lot of dead ones right off the bat uh equals um how much is that that's like 29 holy moses <laughs> so, so, oh, we did the number here go back so we got 29 of them that we're rolling a very unlucky population 29 so now we're going to remove all the ones and the twos again so it is one two e four five that's it right <laughs> so five so the survivors 29 minus five equals 24 so we're going to go back Roll 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 24 minus eight equals 16. Um, and then you do the same thing. You do this until you have nobody left over. Um, and you go over here, you just double this number here, right? So 29 times 2, 40, 58. Uh, 24, that's 48. 16, that's 32. And then you're going to graph these. You're going to graph these on the, um, on the graph paper, which is, so the graph paper is provided here um and I, I explain how you how you um how you label the graph paper uh on the in the lab but i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you something else about that in just a second so that's your first experiment so the first experiment is uh the, the ice game simulation right um your second experiment is going to be the bubble simulation where you're simulating parental care um and there i want you to actually do um do this a slightly little differently from the way um it's described in here because the way it's described in here um is for you to simply just just do the ones that have parental care but I actually want you to do two different ones. So what I want you to do here is I want you to divide this in half. Oops. So I want you to make a line. Oops, that for both of these. <laughs> That's a pretty little. Okay. Um, and I'm going to so you're going to do two parts to this, um, actually for both, for all of them, actually for all of them, like this. So, and like this, or you can just use two charts, right? Either way, either way works for you. Um, and we're going to compare ones with non-parental care no parental care and the ones with parental care 
Because as we know from biology, we always want to have an experimental and a, um, and a control, right? So what you're going to do here is you're going to blow bubbles. Um, now to blow bubbles, uh, the first thing you need is you need a bubble one and you need a bubble solution. Um, when we, when we did this in the spring, we literally were not supposed to go outside. So, and I don't want you to run to the store for a bubble wand. If you have a pipe cleaner, if there's lots of different things you can use as bubble wands. Now, if you happen to go to Kroger's, get yourself some bubble solution, but you can literally use dishwashing detergent. Um, and pipe cleaners actually work really well. And that's what I used when in, in the spring when we did this. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to blow. So the first the first round, you're not going to do parental care. You're just going to blow a bubble and you're going to count how many seconds it takes for this bubble to die. And so the first bubble, you know, you blow the bubble and you time it. And let's say the first bubble throw, but dies after three seconds. Um, you're going to go in here and you're going to go make, make a mark at three. The next bubble, let's say, dies at five seconds. So you're gonna make a mark at the five. And the next bubble dies at one second. And you're gonna make a mark at the one. And you're gonna do this for 50 bubbles. Um, So then you're going to transfer, and this is always the hardest part is, so you're going to, you know, you're going to do this for 50 bubbles, whatever, whatever the number is, four or 50 of them, doesn't matter. I'm just going to put a couple of things here. Yeah, whatever the case may be. Um, you're going to do this for 50. And then you're going to transfer, you're going to count the numbers that you have over here, right? So you've got two, this is one, this is one, this is one, this is two, this is two. All right, now you had 50 to start with, right? So now the number surviving to this age, since you had 50 to start with, you're gonna now do, so you had 50 to start with, and then this is going to be, I'll make this number a little smaller so you can see it. So 50 from here minus, I have the number a little smaller again. So otherwise you're not going to be able to get that in there. So from this two, you're going to have to deduct this two from the 50. So you've got 50 minus two equals equals, where are my equal sign is, equals 48. And you're going to take those 48 survivors, deduct the one from over here, minus one equals 47. And here's the 47 minus one from over here, equals, equals, 46. 46 minus 1 equals 45. And you've got 45 minus 2. You get the point, right? You get how this works, right? Minus 2 is 43. Um, and then we're going to have to turn that into percentages again. So 48 times 2 is 96. 47 times 2 is 94. 46 times 2 is 92. 45 times 2 is 90. 43 times 2 is 86. That's your first round. The second round, that's the fun part. The second round is you do parental care. And parental care with bubbles is that you're trying to keep that bubble afloat. So 
you, you, you use a piece of paper to try to keep it, you fan it underneath, whatever it takes to keep this baby afloat. Um, and of course, you're still going to die. And there's two things that you're going to recognize. One is when you don't do parental care, if five bubbles come out at the same time, well, you can count all five of them, right? You can figure out, you know, oh, there's a, one di died at three, one died at five seconds, one died at four seconds, whatever the case may be. Um, but when you're doing parental care, you got to pick your favorite. You cannot take care of all the bubbles at once. You, you got to, you know, you got to let three of them go. There's, there's one of them you got to fade and make sure. Um, so only count the ones you actually, you actually help in. Um, and then again, you do the same thing. So whenever, whenever your bubble dies, you make a mark and hopefully they're not gonna die quite as quickly because you're, this time you're gonna try to keep these alive. So, um, so the two things you're gonna recognize very quickly is that it takes you a whole lot longer to do 50 of them. And this is re very representative of what parental care is like. This is why critters that have, that do parental care, uh, they don't have that many children because it's really hard to take care of 50 little kids um, when you're, you know, when there's just two of you. Um, so again, hopefully, you know, you've got, um, you know, got somebody dying at 11, somebody dying at 10 seconds, somebody dying at nine seconds, um, you know, and again, oops, uh, you're going to make a mark every time somebody dies, despite your best efforts of trying to keep them alive, right? And I'm just making random marks here at this point in time as I'm talking. Um, but then you're going to do the same thing again. So you're going to then transfer this number over here. So if the one from over, that's one over here. That's the total number dying at that age, right? You're going to transfer the three dying at that age, the one dying at that age, the one dying at that age, the two dying at that age, and the three dying at that age. And then you're going to count the number of surviving. So you've got 50 since nobody died at that age, right? There's nobody here, so it's zero. Since nobody died at this age, you still have 50. Since nobody died at this age, you still have 50. Nobody died at this age, you still had 50. Now you have one dying, so you have 49. Still have 49 because nobody else died. So there's, there's a zero if there's nobody dying, right? You still have 49. This number doesn't change. Um, now, this time you had three dying here. So 49 minus three is 46. 46 minus one is 45. We get the point, right? 45 again, 43, and 40. And then you're going to over here, you still have 100% because you're just going to multiply this by 2. 100. So 100. Etc. 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 Oops, that's not 100. Sorry, my bad. That wasn't 100. That was, uh, excuse me? No, go away. Hang on, that's wrong. Oh, no, no, it's still 100. Never mind. It is 100 because it comes from, this number comes from here. So this is still a hundred, my bad. Ooh, next. So this still is a hundred. And then it's 98 over here. Because the number comes from over here, right? 98, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, and then you're gonna graph this on semi-log paper. And this is your semi-log paper. Oops, this is a um, filled out version. So, well, actually, why don't I? Well, yeah. And now I'm going to show you what I want you to do when you when you're done with this, right? So when you're done with this, I want you to to then try to graph this on this semi log paper. Um, and the first thing you're going to have to figure out is how to label this. And I'm. The way I want you to go about this is, hang on, go, oops. There you are, I'm back here. 
So you're going to go to the assignments. Assignments. And in the assignments, you're going to see a, um, an assignment that just asks for labeled semi-log paper. So what I want you to do is I want you to take the sheet of semi-log paper and based on the instructions on the um, in the lab, I want you to just label the paper. Don't even try graphing it yet. Just label the paper. Because what I want to make sure of is I want to make sure that you got the label right. Now, so you go on here, you label your semi-log paper, and um, you're going to attach it, right? You're going to attach um so attach a copy of your semi-log paper with or without a graph without a graph is completely fine and then once you submit it what's going to happen is you're going to see a different assignment show up So this is where you where you put your semi-log paper here. But now you see a new assignment, um, which is the population ecology survivorship curves lab notes. Um, and this is where you want to submit your lab notes um, with the graph and, and everything. So this is where you're going to then submit um, this sheet filled out with all um, and this sheet filled out with all the numbers and attached to this um, is a filled out version and not filled out version is a um is the graph paper that already has the axis filled out uh, the way they're supposed to be filled out so you can then use the paper from in here because it got so the paper in here has them already filled out so if you didn't figure out how to do it correctly you can use the paper there to then fill out your graph um and that's what i want you to do for um for this module i hope that was helpful